Hey everybody, it is Casey Star Long and I am back today with today's breakfast. So I'm at my mom's house, so you might hear a little bit of traffic, but um, I just wanna share this word with you. So if this is your first time ever watching one of my videos, I wanna welcome you. Again, my name is Casey Star Long, and so what I try to do um, every day, Monday through Friday, is just share a word from the Lord to just encourage you. And today's message is called that God loves you. So when I woke up this morning and um, just in my prayer time, I began to ask God and, and say, Lord, what is it that you want me to share with your people to encourage them? And I just really heard from the Lord just to, just to share that, that I love my people. And, um, you know, I was like, okay, God, you know, that's, that's kind of a simple word, but you know, that's the word that God gave me to just share with the world today that God loves you. And I know we may hear that a lot. I know that it might be, you know, perhaps in your head, but my prayer today is that that word is going to get in your heart that God loves you. And I know you might be saying, well, Casey, you know, my circumstances, they don't seem like God loves me. You know, it's, it may seem like you're, you're all alone, but I just want to encourage you. I was reminded uh, when God uh, basically told me that I wasn't going to be working a nine to five job, that in fact, God was like, I really don't want you to work a regular job. I really want you to just sit in my presence. I want you to study my word and I want you to do my work. And, um, for a long time, I really battled with God because I was like, God, how am I going to, you know, pay my bills? You know, I, I'm used to working. And I really felt that, you know, God was being unfair, you know, um, you know, finances were low. And I was just like, God, you know, at, at some point I began to feel really deceived by the enemy that maybe, you know, God, he wasn't showing his love to me that, you know, I was kind of struggling. Um, but I learned. Um, that that was God's way of, of loving me, that he provided for me in ways that I had never thought um, were possible, that every need has been met in this season. Like, even though I don't work a, a regular, nor normal job, God has provided every need. In fact, I'm going to share a testimony. Somebody just came and put $100 in my hand today, just completely unexpected. And so I just shared that story with you that you might be going through a situation and maybe your issue isn't finances. Maybe it's a family member. Maybe it's a loved one. Your child um, is not doing well. Maybe you received a bad report from the doctor and, you know, the enemy will begin to just make you feel like, you know what, God has left you. God doesn't love you. Well, I'm here to remind you that God loves you. And we know this by John 3, 16, for God so loved the world. He so loved the world. You are part of the world. He so loved you that he sent his only begotten son, Jesus, who died on the cross for you. And, um, you know, when I was really kind of going through the season where really I was deceived by the enemy uh, to make me think, you know, that God had forgotten about me. I remember praying and God gave me three things that I want to share, share with you. One is that I began to just confess over my life, God loves me. The second thing is, is that God is for me. And the third thing is, is that me and God, we're on the same team. Cause you know, sometimes the enemy can make you think like, I don't know that God is opposing you, but that's not true. That's a lie from the enemy. So I just wanna encourage you today, just so you know that God loves you. God is for you. And you and God, if you're doing the work of the Lord, if you're loving him, if you're serving him, you guys are on the same team. You're not in opposition with God. The enemy may want you to think that, but you're not in opposition with God. Um, especially if you confess Jesus as the Lord and Savior of your life. If you haven't confessed Jesus as the Lord and Savior of your life, I want to present an opportunity for you to do so. The Bible says in Romans 10 verse 9 that all you have to do is that believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins. If you believe that Jesus died and if you confess that with your mouth um, and you just believe it in your heart, then the Bible says that you will be saved. The Bible also later on in uh, uh, chapter 10, I believe verse 13, it says that everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. So it's no hoops or hurdles. Um, God sent his son Jesus who died on the cross because God loves you. 
and he wants to have um, eternal life with you. And you can receive eternal life by just accepting Jesus Christ into your heart today. So I just wanted to share that message with you. God loves you. He hasn't forgotten about you. He's with you. He's for you. Um, as a believer in Jesus Christ, you're on the same team with God. I'm reminded of Romans 8. It says that nothing can separate us from the love of God. No height, nor depth, no angels, no demons. So if you got money, great. If you don't have money, if you got a job, regardless of the report, um, regardless of what's going on with your kids, God loves you. So that's my word for today, that God loves you. So I pray that this has blessed you. I'll be back on Monday for Monday's breakfast. All right, bye.